I assume you mean romantic. Definition of a romantic relationship is love, one of the strongest emotions. There are relationships called marriage, but not exactly for love. For example, there's a former POTUS whose wife ran for POTUS. Emo, it's for power, not love, so I can't call it a marriage. Dot. I put this in all my relationship answers, because they're good. Even if I say so myself. Winking face. Once you have each other, you have to keep each other. These are the secrets of our long happy marriage, 34 plus years. I listen. Discuss, discuss, discuss. The biggest problem by far is failure to communicate. B. Treat your partner as an equal, with respect, as you would have him, her treat you. C. There's no, I, no, you, it's always, us. Hence, it can't be, I, versus. You, simply, us. Thus any all problems are mutual, and, us, will work it out. D. Be positive as much as possible. I.e., glass half full. E. The positive effect of humor can't be overstated. F. Never never ever say, you, unless it's a compliment. G. Transgressions. Don't discuss until all is calm, but don't ignore it. I.e., put it in the file cabinet for anger, bring it out when calm, discuss it, put it back, repeat until resolved. Learn the lessons. Then archive it, there's no way to change it, so leave it alone. Forgive and forget. If your partner continues doing something bad, try some sort of reward for doing it right, like a long, sexy kiss. The former is quite negative, this reward is very positive. Winking face. H. How do you avoid, you, when your partner did you wrong? I'm upset by what you did, does not work. Instead, I'm upset by that incident. This sets it up so, us, can resolve it. I always be honest, it doesn't matter how bad it is. Sooner or later, a lie will fall apart, and the trust that's so crucial will take a huge hit. A lie is a cover-up, and cover-up is far worse. Just ask Nixon, winking face. Often, there's an underlying physical problems, so look for this. What with, us, trying to solve this problem, there's no, I, versus. You, so no hard feelings. Let me help. Let me help is one of the most beautiful phrases in the English language. Confession. Before we said, I do, I worked with therapist weekly for two years. I was difficult, so it took a while. No way I could have stayed married without. Must have worked, 34 plus years. Not to mention enjoying a 33-year career. Dot. The title is, Anger Management, but what does it mean? It's human nature to throw the anger in the closet and slam the door. Take that. It slowly bleeds away, but what happens when the door won't shut anymore? It's scary, because it starts breaking down the restraints that prevent us from doing harmful things. The longer it goes on, the worse it gets. For me, it maxed out in my mid-twenties, when, doing dumb things, it sank in that I needed professional help. Happy to say I didn't do any real damage, but it was getting ugly. So I worked with therapist weekly for two years, I was difficult, so it took a while, the lesson is easy to say, replace the anger closet with file cabinet. File the anger away, bring it out when calm, do what you can, put it back, repeat until resolved. The key is to work on it when calm and objective, together. With oh getting overwhelmed. And part of working on it is to bring in those affected. When resolved, remember the lessons learned, then archive it. Can't change it, so leave it in the past.